In this video, I'm going to talk about how do we conduct ADF test in R. To conduct ADF test, make sure R is installed on your system and as well as R Studio. This is the R Studio interface. To conduct the ADF test, first we need to install one library that's called ATSA. To install the library, in the console window, type install.packages under uh, parenthesis and colon type a t s a and hit enter so once you get this type of message the downloaded library binary packages are in so and so directory that means the package has been installed now i'm going to import the data set on which i want to do the adf test to import the data set from excel file click here on import data set from Excel and then browse where the data is uh, stored on your local drive. For me, it is uh, in this particular folder and I'm going to open it. Now uh, click on import and as you can see the data has been imported under name under data frame name master data Apollo which contains these columns. Uh, to conduct the test, first we need to load the library into R. So this step where we install the package that only installs the library. And this you need to do only once. Once you uh, freshly install the R and R Studio, then only you need to do this particular step. Uh, after installing this library, every, each time you run the code, you need to load the library in R. So to load the library, just type the syntax and colon and the name of the library, which is ATSA and hit enter. So this means the library has been loaded. Now I can type ADF.test, which stands for augmented decay fuller test. And now it is asking on which time series. So I will provided the time series on which I want to conduct the test. So first of all, I need to write the data frame name, which is master data, uh, master underscore data underscore Apollo. Then I will put dollar sign. Uh, now from by looking here, I can select the time series which I on which I want to perform ADF test. Let's say I want to perform on DOSA. And uh, after this, just hit enter. And these are the outputs of the ADF test uh, the alternative hypothesis is that the uh, series is stationary it tests for uh, whether the series has uh, you know uh, it's random walk or random walk with shift in the mean random walk with the shift in the mean as well as the uh, trend you can also perform ADF test with different number of uh, legs for that case just type ADF dot test again provide the data frame name what appears here put a dollar sign let's say this time i select chutney and let's say i want to do, do it for 10 lags so just type comma 10 and hit enter and it will perform the same test for chutney uh, time series uh, with 10 lags so that's how you perform adf test in r